Thank you. All right, oh, this is the last save station, and we'll hit the missile station along the way. Ah, uh, as well. My hand. Well. Oh yeah. And uh, remember when MJ said something about the power bombs and making sure you have it for endgame? It's not for the prime bosses. No. Remember those fission Metroids that we met earlier? Yeah. That's what you want for. I got this weird material. It looks even more ridiculous than Phase On, apparently. Yep. You're not protected by it. So. More dangerous than Phase On, so, um. Yeah, be careful with it. Yeah. And you kind of have to jump around it, unfortunately. There's no invisible platforms in this area. We're in the end game area. So, it's a short trip to the end. But, doesn't mean they're not going to throw a lot of crap your way. So. In the original Prime for GameCube, this is the only area you normally run into Fission Metroids. Now, we run into them. And they're just as annoying then as they are now. Yep, we got seven power bombs. They'll chase you throughout this room. The power bombs will get them off your back. Alright, jump along the teeth. Alright. There'll be a door that'll lead to a missile missile station about halfway up, so just keep platforming. And this is where the fission metroids get annoying. This part. And this is why you want the power bombs. Yep. Thankfully we won't need them for prime, so Yeah. If you need them. Most don't likely we won't need them for prime. Yeah, we won't need them for you prime. You and you won't need them. You can't use them on prime anyway, I don't think. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Alright, there's the door of the missile station. Now, there's where our missile station. Yep. Our fission metroid like right above you. Aha! Wow. Alright, let's go get our missiles refilled. Time for a reload. Yes. Alright, baby. <sighs> Hopefully this will be a lot less stressful. Hopefully. And then I <clears> die <throat> like one or two times and it's gonna be so agonizing. Yep. Mostly because of how much damage this motherfucker did. Yeah. Oh god, that was a pain that was painful. Ugh. <sighs> That's why I hate Ridley. Yeah. That second phase, you do have to fuck. It's where those like you have narrow precise. I don't know. Where are those like form of like, like, some kind? I get. Where those like I'm freaking. Uh, oh god! I get. Damn! Surprise attack! What a dick move! That was just like all right. Here comes the power bomb. Oh god! Power bomb. Dead. All right. This platform is actually gonna be a little bit annoying. How many are gonna show up? Fish Metroids? Yeah. Just two. It's always two. They just keep generating after a while. Like, they don't ever stop coming, but they always come in groups of two. They come in droves of two? Yeah. Alright, get in that room and you're safe. Huh. <sighs> Alright. The road to the end. This is the end! Oh. And hopefully it'll be easier than the last two bosses. I mean, it should be. If it wasn't, I'd be surprised. Watch me screw it up, though. Because my luck. The first phase can be a little rough, especially towards the end of the first phase. Let me up! Let me up! God damn it! Spider rail! Spider rail! rail. Alright! Alright, here we go. Look at that weird friggin' thing. Look at that weird high ship looking thing. So, that's the creature that everybody was referring to. I wonder. I gotta say, I, I do like the design of this boss, though. Yeah, the exoskeleton one. And right. actually the um, inner and the core one, too. Yeah. Really so here we go. The this final boss. This is, as soon as I get a chance to scan this damn thing. Yep. But first, he runs like a coward. You dick. Hey, come back here, you fool. All right. In. The battle is on. Game on. This freak is known as Metroid Prime's highly evolved phase on producing light force. Yep. The aberration known as the Metroid Prime is the source of phase on, making it immensely powerful. A genetic flaw makes it susceptible to certain weapons for brief periods. Only its head is truly vulnerable, other attacks are a nuisance. Offensively, Metroid Prime has a number of natural and mechanical weapons at its disposal, these include ultra Bridget Breath, multi missiles, snare beams, and particle wave projectors. Its massive strength and barbed characters make it a lead for melee combat. Recommend maximum firepower when engaging this weapon. Of course. So, 
charged pla uh, plasma shot, super missiles, wave buster, and ice weather, or a regular ice charge yep. shot. Yeah. So, right now it's yep, uh, I'm just going to yellow, yellow, so we got so. those super missiles. Like, just use all the missiles you can, because... Except the flamethrower. Yeah, don't, don't, don't use the flamethrower. Trust me, you're better off just going with the plane, plasma beam shot anyway. Alright, Camel's gonna get a little closer now. Morph to... Purple, so that's Wave. Wave Buster. So Wave Buster will make it easier to... It pretty much will stay last. Just try to stay out of the way of its attacks. Keep yourself moving while you do that, so that way you can dodge. Alright. And well... I'm gonna go further! Part 2 of Phase 1. It gets a little harder down here. Throw a little indentation to the ground there. Oh, it's still with the purple. That's convenient. Don't worry about that yet. You don't need to worry about that for now. Just do damage to it for now. This range is pretty nice. The fact that Holmes is super easy. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, go more ball. Because now he'll charge across. Use a little indentations to hide. In the original Prime game, when he did that, you would hop out of the hole, so he could still hit you. It was a pain in the ass. And you still get a cheap shot on you in the original game like that. Wait, you mean it didn't have the indentations in there? Oh, it did have the indentations in the ground, it just... You would bounce out a little bit, so he could, you could hit him accidentally. Oh god! Oh god. Somehow he didn't run into you there. Those balls are powerful. Oh yep, yeah, now one of them Oh god. Oh yeah, and the weakness he is, his uh, mouth beam has properties. His attacks have properties based on what he's weak against, so. Basically, it's a battle fighting fire with fire. You fight him with his weakness, as he fights you with that as well. Ice Bear will stop him for a little bit. So. Yeah. Ice Bear is a good way to do some extra damage to him. You can. Part 3! We're getting close. It's gonna get a little harder, just like how the second part added the Ice Beam, the third will have the Plasma Beam, although if he does that, it's actually the easiest part, thankfully. Yeah. Oh, Morph, about Morph Ball boost away. Yeah, that one's hard to predict. I keep forgetting, he starts the third part with that immediately. And now he does that Ice Attack as well. Right, careful. Oh god! I'm not hit my head. Yeah, sometimes, oh, he'll, sometimes he'll hit his shell instead of his head. Like that. Yeah, he can be a little off at times. Warp ball and boost away. Boosted. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. I just try to boost away. It usually works. Oh god. Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. Okay. That's the way to do it. Damn, he's being really great with that. Nice. Okay. We are getting a little low on missiles, but that tends to happen with this fight. We won't need them for the next one. Alright, give the, the invitation to one on the side. Yeah, first, every time you see him... Please you... change the plasma. Nice. I... Actually, that's not bad. Yeah. The wave one is what really kills your missiles, though. Yeah. Also, that's the one that you highly recommend to use this one anyway. Yeah. It, it ends the phase quickly, that's for sure. Yeah. By the way, if you shoot down those balls, you can get some up you can get some power ups back. You can get some missiles and health. Careful! Yeah, I see missiles over there. I see energy over here. Which I kinda want. Hmm. I'm not too worried about missiles. Because I don't think we're gonna need it for the next thing anyway. Yeah. Do we? I don't think we do. Not really, no. Not at all, actually. Not really, I should have said no. Look out! Jump! Jumping is the best way to dodge that. Yeah, attack. I know. I keep... There we go. Now we're getting a lot of missiles back. Nice. Let's break. Okay, get one of the holes. Hi. Oh, you froze the wall behind him. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Alright, 
So he's gonna go wave or plasma? Plasma! Careful, that will burn you if you get hit by that one, clearly. It hurts. Yep. That's his strongest beam as well. Huh. Coincidence. Dang. Yeah. Get that toxic one. Good. I gave me the toxic gas. He doesn't actually get hurt by his burn, though. He pretty much only gets hurt by the initial shot. Oh god. But it's also why the flamethrower is useless. Oh god. Oh, almost. I'm scared. Understandable. Alright, he's going wave. We only have 39 missiles left, so we can't do the wave buster for long. Oh yeah, and he hits you with a wave beam, your visor goes out of whack for a bit. You lose your ability to lock on, too. Well, the thing with wave beam is that it locks onto his head, so... Yeah. You don't have to worry about if you run out of your wave buster. Well, run out of missiles. God damn you, you're freaking... It's not my lock on. Ha! Still shot you during all that. Alright. And now the hardest part of the fight! Last part of the first phase! I just basically, got some health back, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Basically, now it's everything from the first... It's basically everything from part three, except now a randomizer is thrown in. Basically, he'll do... Wow, I'm falling pretty well. Oh yeah, he'll charge at you when he freezes you like that, too, with that attack. We only got power beam now, so we just gotta... And the phase of the power shots. And back with the power beam he has has no special effects. Thank goodness. Does it hurt? Well, yeah. Of course. Immensely. Um. Probably more than the other two. Opportunity to get some ammo and health back. See, now he'll switch phase. He'll switch his weakness in the middle of the battle. So, yeah, he becomes a bigger dick now. So, basically, you can shoot a weapon. And he basically swap his weakness the last second to throw your attack off. So. so yeah, he goes very annoying. Also, oh. he rarely goes to plasma at this part, so. You rarely get the opportunity to burn him. Oh, ran out. Shit. I really don't want to use it. Yeah. It's not worth it. Oh god! If that was going to get lock on, missiles are probably best saved for the super missile. Oh, god damn it! Yeah, see, he squilt swaps very frequently. Very annoying. Whatever, just shoot those down for now. We can worry about his weakness later. Getting health in missiles. Oh! Just keep focusing on him while you're shooting those down. Look out! Oh, shit. Oh, I guess he does disable your ability to fire your weapon for a little bit of power one. Alright, get in the hole. Oh god, he fired those now? Oh, Jesus. That'd be a little dead. Dangerous? Oh, you dick! God, he fires them so much! A little bit of energy and some missiles. He's on wave right now. How long will stay like that? I don't know. Just pay attention to him. Once you see his bottom mouth open, start moving and jumping. Just make sure he doesn't shoot you. That's the attack he goes to most frequently. The beam? Yes. He's doing it again. I only nipped you with that one. That was a full blown shot. You got him! Oh, it is freaking carapace again. God damn it! What the? All angles. God damn it, missile! Come on. Yeah, his awkward position can definitely throw off the missiles sometimes. You see, he rarely goes to plasma. Look out! Throw those ice variant. Oh shit! He pinned you. Oh yeah, you get that death if you get killed during uh, horror falls. He kind of explodes. 
Yeah, this is the last hard part of the game. First phase of the final boss. He can definitely get you with his overwhelming arsenal of attacks. Overwhelming you attacks that move in slowly, then shooting with beams straight from him, or trying to pull you towards him, or freezing you, or running at you. He's a force to be reckoned with. Not quite like Omega Pirate and Meta Ridley, but... The first phase, I think. It can catch you off guard. Although, if you die, if you get him in the first phase, it's gonna bite you really hard in the second phase. Yeah, you, it is a test of endurance in the second phase, but it's not nearly as bad as the first. The thing we should be more concerned about is do you have enough energy to survive? Yes. The yeah. fish you mentioned my uh, latches on to get them off for it. Yeah. If I can save these, because I'm not sure, are those things suspectful to power bombs? What do you mean? The uh the floating orbs they shoot at you. I mean maybe. I never thought about doing it. I usually just shoot them down my beam. I never took the time power bomb, but I would think probably. I just wait till they get close enough. Since you can shoot them down with any kind of beam weapon, no matter what cult no matter what type it is. I would think the power bomb would work on any of them. Now I guess I could save you some time, so if they get too close you can just power bomb them. Yeah, because I don't because it's like I don't want to waste Alright, so you're in the way, so you know what's coming. Yep. Oh, now it notices you. Alright, come and get me! <laughs> that was fun. I love to do that. Okay. I love all the platforms with like upside down. Oh, you course. dick! Oh! You still landed. Ooh! Wow. Normally, when that happens to me, I either get bumped to fall, or they suck me off a platform and make me fall. I guess what? I'm lucky. Hey, take it. 